Good morning everyone. Today I'm going to take you through a day of my life as a data engineer. First, I wake up at 7.30 a.m., check my notification and message on my phone. I also try to look at some news, so I am up to date about what's going on around the world. I tried to do some exercise, but today I didn't got any chance to do that. Then I freshen up and start my day with a cup of coffee and a fruit. At 8 a.m., I open up my laptop and start my work with a sip of coffee. I'll be going through my mails to check if any of the works are outstanding and also see if I have any meetings for today. At 9, I have a sprint planning meeting. This meeting is super important as we often like to work in a team-oriented structures which means we are working with other engineers and business analysts. These meetings are likely to be held weekly or bi-weekly. It depends upon the team, but in my team, it's held bi-weekly. Data engineers will like to work in sprint cycles. That means spend uh, one or two weeks to achieve a particular set of goals. In this meeting, we particularly discuss the backlog of issues that needs to be resolved, prepare the task and maybe remove the ones that are no longer the issue anymore. So now I have my sprint planning meeting kicked out of my way. I'm going to focus on the task I'm working on. As a data engineer, I am mainly focused on the ETL process in my job, which means I gather the requirements. In this process, we'll identify the sources of data, APIs or flat files. In this particular step, we will be focused on understanding the business needs and requirements of the stakeholders. And then we extract the data from various servers the other step is data transformation where we try to modify the data to meet the requirements of the downstream consumers such as uh, data scientists, data analysts or the business analyst. We then load the data in the format that is optimized for querying and analysis such as a data warehouse or a NoSQL database. After that, uh, the process doesn't end. We will constantly monitoring the data for any anomalies or issues and uh, addressing them in a timely manner. These steps are often iterative and may involve a collaboration with uh, other data scientists, business analysts and other stakeholders to ensure that the data is accurate and meets the business needs. So let's take a specific example. See, as a retail company, it wants to analyze customer purchase behavior to inform marketing and sales strategies. As a data engineer, the first thing we need to do is gather the data from various sources such as customer history, demographics of the customer, product history, and so on. You are going to need SQL or Python to pull the data from the sources such as the SQL database, raw layer, or maybe some Excel spreadsheets into the code repository. We'll be performing data cleansing and uh, remove any irrelevant or incorrect data. Also, we'll focus on removing the duplicate data. For example, if we have a co name column in the data source, we must make sure that there are no numbers or see if the row is blank. The other step is transforming the data for data analysis using the tools such as SSIS. In this process, we can also automate the data pipelines if required. The data is now loaded into the server. After this, we try to make sure that the data quality is good. Then we make sure that the business need and requirements is being made by the work we have done. Now it's time for lunch. I had leftover biryani from yesterday, so I thought of having that for my lunch. I try to go walk for some time to feel fresh before I start the other half of my day.
after coming back from work i try to check my email once more and uh, see if there is uh, new emails or i have to respond to something quickly there is always a problem with data and uh, i know that i'll always be fixing it sometimes i love the part because i will be learning new things but uh, the other time i must admit that it's really draining since i completed the transformation yesterday now i am looking at the data quality issues for the rest of the day finally it's 5 pm now i am packing my laptop just kidding i work from home so i shut down my laptop i make a cup of coffee for me and uh, take some good rest from the day I, I then start preparing my dinner at around like 6 p.m. I try to read a book or try to work on my YouTube channel.